and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about coconut milk. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out of my videos. Alright, let's get started. So, sorry if I sound a little nasally today. I'm a little stuffy, but just bear with me. So we have a bunch of different topics to go over today talking about coconut milk. So, you know, like, what is it? Some benefits of it, some nutrition facts, all that kind of stuff. So first things first, what is coconut milk? Now, I know I've touched upon this a little bit when I make, you know, my certain Starbucks drinks where I'm using coconut milk, or when I talked about coconut water and like the difference between coconut milk, coconut water, the flesh of the coconut with the coconut meat, and all that kind of stuff. So in mature brown coconuts, there's kind of a white meat, if you will. It's called the flesh of the coconut, and that's where coconut milk is made from. The coconut milk is definitely thick, rich, and creamy compared to the coconut water. Of course, milk, water, it's not going to be the same texture, just like anything else. So the coconut water is in the not-so-mature coconuts, so like the younger coconuts that are green, not brown yet. So when you open up a green coconut, you will already find naturally there the coconut water, right? But that's not going to be the same as coconut milk. You're not going to open up a brown coconut and just open it up and there's coconut milk in there. It's a little bit different. You have to take all the flesh and kind of blend it all up together with some water to create that coconut milk and there's actually going to be about 50% water to do so. So coconut water is going to be about 94-95% water, whereas I said the coconut milk is about 50% water, but the coconut milk is going to have way more, you know, nutrients and more fat and stuff um, inside of it as well. So how do you make coconut milk? Now I touched upon that a little bit before, but there are different kinds of coconut milk. There's ones with a thinner consistency, ones with thicker consistency. As you've seen in past videos, I've used coconut milk just like normal milk jug or something like that that has you know very watery coconut milk sometimes it's mixed with coconut water and then you've seen me use coconut milk that's more in a can where if you don't mix it correctly then you know the fat and liquid kind of separates in the can and it can literally like flop right out that's happened to me before on camera so it's definitely different ways to make coconut milk so i've never done this Personally, but you can make coconut milk at home. So you can make the thin or the thicker consistency, consistency if you don't want to go ahead and buy it in store or if you just want to try something new. So for the thick coconut milk, what you're going to do is you're going to take a mature coconut and then you're going to take that flesh or that meat and grate it. And you're going to do this very finely and then you're going to either boil it or simmer it in some water. Then all you're going to do is strain that mixture with a cheesecloth and then you have your coconut milk. So to make a thinner coconut milk, you're going to do the same process as before. You're going to take the coconut meat or the flesh, you're going to grate it up very finely, simmer it and boil it in water, strain it through a cheesecloth, except you're just going to keep doing this a couple more times until you get a way more thinner consistency. So the different consistencies are used for different things. So maybe you want to use a thicker coconut milk for like a thick sauce or a dessert or something like that. And maybe you want to use a thinner consistency for, you know, a soup or a thinner sauce or something like that or different drinks like I've made in the past. Um, also, a lot of ones that you buy at the store kind of have a mixture of some thin, some thick, blended together maybe, but of course, as always, when you make something at home, you can definitely control how thick or thin that you want it to be. So, and now let's get into some nutrition facts. So, coconut milk is definitely higher up on the calorie scale for sure. So about 93% of the calories that are found in coconut milk are going to be from fats, and this does include saturated fats. But in just one cup, there's a ton of really good vitamins and minerals that are found. I'm going to list them now. So there's going to be about 552 calories in one cup of coconut milk, 57 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fiber, 11% of your daily intake of vitamin C, 10% of your daily intake of folate, 22% of your daily intake of iron, 22% of your daily intake of magnesium, 18% of your daily intake of potassium, 32% of your daily intake of copper, that's a different one, 110% of your daily intake of manganese, and 21% of your daily intake of selenium. 
Now I will of course list all of these nutrition facts down below in the description box if you guys want to kind of do a refresher and look up anything after this video. Now let's get into some of the health benefits and claims. So coconut milk has a small amount of medium chain triglycerides which is known to speed up your metabolism a little bit so people are trying to see you know if drinking coconut milk has a relation to weight loss but there are such low levels found in the coconut milk that it probably won't really do anything. There were studies that showed the cholesterol levels and triglyceride levels improved after drinking coconut milk. Tests done on animals showed that um, after drinking coconut milk, some inflammation was decreased. Ulcer sizes were decreased and they were able to fight off some viruses and bacteria that was causing infection. Another benefit is that coconut milk is generally safe unless you are allergic to coconuts, but it is not a nut, so if you have a aller nut allergy, you typically won't have an um, allergic reaction to coconuts or coconut milk. So all in all, I like coconut milk. I think it's really tasty. I think it's fun in some of those Starbucks drinks. It gives it that really kind of tropical flavor I enjoy a lot. It's nutritious, it's versatile, it's available pretty much anywhere if you want it in a can or as a drink or whatever. They have all different brands and versions all over the place now. And like I said, you can make it at home too. It's filled with a bunch of really nice and important nutrients and vitamins and minerals and all that kind of stuff and has a bunch of other health benefits, so why not give it a try? But that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my videos. And share, share, share this video. It would really help me a lot. And as always, if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.